let's explore how Coldplay created this piano intro, starting with the chords. So taking this top note and moving it to the bottom, we can see an E flat major triad here. And we're playing it in first inversion. Second chord, if we move the bottom note to the top, we can see here a B flat minor triad. And we're playing it in second inversion. Third and final chord. This is an F minor triad, and this is in root position. So Coldplay uses some great smooth voice sitting between these chords. For example, here's the first chord and the second. Notice that the middle note, which is in common between the two chords, is preserved, while the bottom and top note move the minimum amount possible. which is a lot smoother than just using root position. And we do the same thing with the second and third chord. So this F is in common between the two chords. So they just move the top two notes the minimum amount possible to get this very smooth movement. The only thing that they're adding on top of that is a, this great arpeggiated rhythm called the tresillo. It's basically three sets of these triplets, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, but the last one gets cut off. So it gives it this really driving rhythm that they use throughout the whole intro. One, two, three, 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 one, two. The whole intro is like that. And if you play this chord sequence in this rhythm with both hands, now you're playing Coldplay's Clocks. Okay, let's art play with this and make this our own. What if instead of starting on first inversion, we started in second inversion? Now playing the same chord progression, the smooth voice leading, we get a very different sound. We can even start in root position up here. possible to get to our next chord. All those sound great. Okay, what if we offset the hands a bit from each other? They've been playing in parallel, but what if they played offset like this? like that one a lot, so that adds a bit more interest there. Okay, what if we added some more notes from this key of four flats to create a bit of a melody on top? So as long as we're using notes from this key of four flats, we're pretty much guaranteed to have something that's going to fit with this chord progression. 